growth factor. I told you very early when the laptop was not here that the bones are growing and that's why we have to be careful about the cartilage in young children to train them in terms of uh, strength or uh, in terms of developing their flex power. Don't train them for strength and power until they are developing before that, yes, you can only train them for motor skill and skill. Mm -hmm. Only the bones grow faster than the muscles, so they are tighter. Error of training too much too soon. Again, people get injured, so look into it. Sudden increase in frequency, duration, or intensity. More than 18 hours per we need monitoring. Okay, so when you increase training to that level, you have to be careful with your athletes. And training volume should never increase 10% per week. I never feel that this is safe. So if you are, if you have rested three months, you want to go back to the gym, you should do five minutes of cycling, five minutes of stepping, Five minutes of treadmill and that's it. And they spend 15-15 minutes of warm-up and push-out. And then gradually build one or two minutes every session. You go to the gym. Just don't do 20-30 minutes of cycling walking or running or whatever. Footwear, we have talked about it. Sport specific is important. Pre-participation. Both assess overall health individually or as a team, detect conditions that might cause injuries, all right? Flat for donation, old injuries, detect conditions that may disqualify an athlete from participation in certain sport. Like if you are deaf with one ear, that's something you can't play. Eyesight also, very important, born with one kidney, you have donated your kidney and these are conditions that need to be put out. You can't play hard conditions. No angina. You have to screen people. You can't just go on training them without doing any pre-season conditioning or questioning. I can give you the questionnaire, but you can implement it. I have it with me and always get it from me. Excess fitness for the children's sport. Sports specific fitness is important. Make a recommendation and review yourself. It's very important. It's just not that everybody follows the same thing which is inside the book. No, go back and review it and see if there are individual requirements. Components, medical history, general medical, health evaluation. These are the questions that I have. Check for flexibility strength assessment before designing or recommending what kind of program and fitness you would require for individual people. Especially looking which position they play and what kind of needs are there for that sport. Equipment review and musculoskeletal examinations. We do all these, all right? Sports injuries prevention, everybody helping or help players. Medical people, their trainers, coaches, physical educators, referees. I see even in Ramaja, I saw a large guy fighting a young boy. I don't know how it matched it in one of the sport. It's very difficult to tell it as a medical officer. I was sitting and watching this <laughs> young boy beaten left and right by a larger boy. So I really don't understand how this competition is matched. Mm -hmm. you think if I was allowed, I could have stopped that fight. <laughs> yes, here. Thank you very much. I'm sorry again for coming late. Today I forgot, I must admit. I had too much of a pressure. Although I just reminded me this morning. Too much of and just I'm using this laptop. If you have any questions regarding education or this subject, we have another lecture. Hopefully, I'll push that and I'll come in to give you for education for drug abuse. You know, Brunei is a small population, but unfortunately, we have a large number of positive cases in Brunei. People are taking the drugs to improve performance. All right.
and uh, this is not known. This is not known for a small country, just like the Chinese. Comparing to Brunei, number of cases and then the country with 160 million people, uh, like Indonesia and others, the number of cases. But it's good that we have caught all of them. Right? It's a good sign when you say we have 250 positive or 180 positive. It's a good sign that the health ministry will pick all of them and to prevent the population. So uh, I'll talk about that next time. Okay, thank you very much. If any questions, please say now. Yeah. Uh, Doctor, how, how do you the simplest way to check whether you are arch footed or flat footed? Simple way is to take a paper, all right, put it on the ground, you take water, put a few drops of ink in the water, dip your foot on it, all right, let it rinse, then step on it. And if you don't see a foot mark, on the medial side, there will be a different mark. If it is completely flattened, then you will see an oval mark. Otherwise, it will be heel, then the right side, and then the forefoot. But if you see an oval mark, it means it's a collection of children. Normally, that's what I do. I mean, I have sophisticated equipment, but if somebody finds that there are two ovals, then they can walk into my clinic and we'll do further testing on that. But they are a high time commitment to see. Because some people, they go flat foot when they are running only. Other than that, they are not flat foot. So, if you look at the shoes from the bottom, this is a shoe. This is the outer edge, okay? So, this side of the heel is wearing out then this is a good strike. If it is in the middle, the shoe is wearing out, so and so, still acceptable. But if it is the inside, wearing out, means it's a wrong flat foot or knock knee. The knees are inside. That's why it's sitting like this. Okay, that's why. Then you look down. If this side of the foot is wearing off, if this side is wearing up too much, not this side, you are inverted. Your legs are like this, bow legs. Or if you are centered, I find it's a little bit centered. So I'm okay at the moment. <laughs> good strike, you see, outer strike. My strike is good, then I go straight and then I go all the way. But when I did my running one, it appeared that at the very end, I go in little. So every time I play cricket, okay. the whole day I'm running in the field, I get a black nail. So now I take a precaution that every time I play, I will put a support on the medial arch so that I don't go in. So mm -hmm. my thumb is never pressed excessively and I don't get it anymore. So this is how you can test it. But if somebody is born with a flat foot, ask, look for the parents. Normally the parents are responsible for your flat foot. One of them has it. One of them definitely has it that you get it. Apart from people who are really overweight and the parents are okay. But yeah, normally it's the parent who give you, but it's correctable and you can put support in it. You can fix it very fast. And you can still enjoy and improve your performance many times. And this is the best test to do at home or in your environment. Anyone else? Well, by all means, you can email me and ask me anything you want. My email address at the office is very simple. SMRC, Sports Medicine Research Center. SMRC. Brunet.bm. If you have any questions, you need any uh, information, you want to know anything, just drop in an email and I'll get back to you as fast as I could.
So I did put it into the article, picture, information, whatever I put regarding all disciplines of sports medicine, including sports psychology, sports nutrition, sports biomechanics, exercise physiology, Rehabilitation, strength, whatever. Anything that you want to know from us, I'll be happy to provide you with that. Thank you. Yeah, last day.